Hey guys, welcome back. So, okay, I know I talked about the whole Power Rangers movie thing and why I thought it was good. And again, I state when I get a better video, when I get my video editor, I'm going to talk about this in a little bit more detail with a little bit more pictures and clips and all that stuff. But I want to go more further on this whole Power Rangers 2017 movie thing. Now, here's the thing. Okay, this is how I felt like. Uh, you gotta realize one particular fact. When it comes to 2017 Power Rangers movie, the movie mainly talked about um, um, put more detail into Jason. The more developed, uh, they developed Jason, Billy, and Zordon the characters more so than anything. Okay, this is how I felt like the sequel should have went. Okay, so the sequel should have went with what we got with the. Uh, the mid credit scene of them kind of sort of hinting at Tommy Oliver. Now, if you didn't know, back then, a lot of people were speculating that if they had the sequel, Tommy wouldn't be a guy. Maybe it might be a girl this time. Okay? Now, there's a reason why I would have enjoyed that, in all honesty. Okay? Now, with the original movie, with the first movie, 2017, it kind of had a little uh, Jason Kimberly kind of possible connection type thing. And this is where they would have changed a little bit. I mean, come on, it's a reboot. They can change a few things and not be so bad. I mean, come on, Billy was a, a black guy for this time instead of him being, instead of it being a white guy. I'm just saying. But, you know, Billy was black this time and Zach was Asian which kind of was like a mix of it was like kind of them trying to mash up Zach and Adam but uh, I won't go into full detail on that whole little thing however my whole thing is with the sequel make you make Tommy a girl and you know she's cool and all that stuff and Trini is actually attracted to her think about it just saying. Now, you have the story. The story is going to give you. We're going to have more uh, character development with in this movie in the sequel movie. The better character development would be with Zach and Trini. You know, we didn't get much about them. We got a little bit of Kimberly, but we're going to save Kimberly for the next movie and Tommy for the next movie. And wait for this while I talk about this. Okay, so in the second movie, in the second movie, this is how I thought the second movie should have gone. So we find we it starts off with the green power coin that Rita had. <laughs> the like let's say the green power coin just happened to fall into Angel Grove after Rita got slapped, okay? And Rita's sitting there traveling through space near the moon and all that stuff. And she, you know, Lord Zed finds her, okay? Lord Zed is the reason why she was, she became evil in the first place. She still has the magic. She still has all that shit. So she's still slightly connected to the power coin. She hasn't died. I mean, yeah, she's, kind of frozen in space, but she hasn't died. She's still connected to that power coin. Even if she doesn't have it physically in her hand, she's still, you know, it's still connected to her in some way. Now, power coins in Angel Grove on a beach side or whatever, or wherever it might be. Yeah, on the beach side. Let's just say the beach side. Power coins on <coughs> power coins on the beach side. Uh, a random girl ends up picking it up. This girl happens to be Tommy Oliver. Spelt with a, and we can still use a Y. She's very, you know, this Tommy is a girl, but she's very, very, very tomboyish. Okay. 
she doesn't like she doesn't like the anybody to think of her as like too or, or girly at all. All right, she comes into the school. She's a new kid, and also she's already been in detention already. You know, the the other teens, you know, the other rangers have seen her a couple of days and all that stuff. This takes place like, and I want to say the the second movie takes place about maybe a month after the first movie. Um, actually, let's say it takes place a month after the whole events of Aftershock. Um, the graphic novel they had. I want to actually connect that to it. Anywho, so things are going good, and but they're still having like little remnants of Rita pop up every once in a while. You know those putties and that whole thing with Goldar. It just cause for like different monsters to pop up. Um, when a monster comes and almost attacks. Uh, Tommy. That's when the Rangers show up. Okay, Tommy's just like, oh shit, and the Rangers show up and you know do their whole little thing. You know the monsters control the putties slightly because they they are connected to Goldar and all. So we'll figure that out later. We'll figure out the details of that later. Anyways, eventually the coin that. Tommy picked up at the beginning of the movie starts glowing and Tommy's just checking it out and the second she grabs it again next thing you know she's being brainwashed she is being taken over by Rita Rita's in space Rita's been top, um, picked up by Lord Zed at this point Lord Zed's like I want my Zeo crystal we are going to get that Zeo crystal you're gonna control you're gonna find a way to help me get the Zeo crystal. Now now granted. So now Tommy is becoming the Green Ranger. Let's say that she's becoming the Green Ranger similar in a similar way to how Trent became the White Ranger in Dino Thunder. She just transforms. She has no control over it. The Rangers initially think this is Rita Repulsa back again, like how? And she's just schooling them. She's just beating their asses like here and there. It's a big deal. Anywho, um, Zed has shown up on Earth, has gotten to Earth at this point. And, you know, the Rangers are starting to realize that this isn't Rita. This is something else. This is a human. And then, you know, or reveal the face during a uh, uh during a second battle with, Rita, uh, with the Green Ranger shows that it's Tommy. Now Tommy, you can tell that Tommy's under Rita's control because her eyes are going green, you know. But and she still has and she has like a little bit of a like kind of those green veins going while she has the suit on. And uh, luckily, nobody else in Angel Grove has witnessed this because, well, they're gone. At the, everybody's already evacuated. They're fighting against her. She brings in the Dragon Zord. She get she rocks that shit. Okay, we actually see the Megazord form for the first time. The, the movie Megazord form for the first time without that whole fire. Brimstar, we now understand how they come together. Anywho, to make that Megazord. Anywho, but they're automatically defeated. Zed is about to grab the Zeo Crystal when um, Zed's still trying to get at the Zeo Crystal and all that stuff, but something happens. Something crazy happens. The explode the 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 fight. Between the Dragon Zord and our Megazord, the movie Megazord, has, due to the fact that it was so close to the Zero Crystal, has opened up a breach in dimension. Actually, we can make the movie about um, Trini and Kimberly more so than Zach and Tommy. Then Zach and Tommy. The reason why I say this is because 
at the end of the movie, like we're gonna, I, I want this to be like a, a sort of cliffhanger ending. But then you get to the point where something, due to the fact that they were fighting right next to the Zero Crystal and the powers are so similar and all that stuff, it, and Zed just happens to like rain fire down on the Zords and all that stuff, something crazy happens. Next thing you know, the Megazord is destroyed. The Dragon Zord is disabled. And Tommy and Zack, even though all the ranges have fallen out of the Zords and all that stuff at this point, Tommy and Zack end up getting transported to a different dimension. While the other rangers are trying to figure out what the fuck. Um, and Zed is almost... Zed pretty much, and the Zero Crystal has just disappeared. Even though it was pretty much the life crystal of the Earth, it just completely went missing. The Earth is fine, but it's missing. Zed is pissed, and now he wants to take over Angel Grove. He wants to take over the world, and he's about to do it, and he's about to, like, sit there. He f drops down onto the Earth, and he's shown in the most... Dark. I want to say that they they made they were going to make Lord Zed look even darker than he did. Like you do realize in the second season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Lord Zed shows up. Lord Zed was a creepy motherfucker. Like you pay attention to Lord Zed when he first shows up. Even I thought, oh my god, they went ham on this. They are red. They they really want to freak us out. This man is pure evil. This is how you looked at him. I want them to make Lord Zed. I want them to make Lord Zed look even darker. I'm talking about like I'm talking about it would make. Let's just say it would give kids this feeling of like literally. Oh, this is what the new pinhead looks. Scary enough to like put that fear in some kids' souls because I mean, come on, the rat monsters these days wouldn't even freak out like a, a two year old at this point. But I'm just saying, I want you to freak out, I want you to freak us all out. I mean, come on, I want you to get very creative with this freak out. Like, I mean, come on, the dialects and the dialects were scary SOBs in Dr. Who. You know, it was even worse. We've seen like they weren't that, they shouldn't be that scary. The Weeping Angels. Still can't look at a statue. To, I, I still refuse to like, you know, be anywhere near a statue because I don't want to get killed. I don't want to get sent back in time. That's what I'm going to get sent to. Anywho. So, you know, that's the end of the, the second movie. The third movie, the third movie starts off somewhere and we get a little bit more story about Zach and and Tommy. Tommy is, you know, the green the green power coin is like due to the fact that she's not in the same they're not in the same dimension. The green power coin is kind of the the influence that Rita has on the green power coin is kind of waning. Okay? And Zach and Tommy have ran into each other. They should be enemies, but they're trying to figure out how to get back to there. All right. And Tommy is just still like Tommy's not nearly Tommy's not brainwashed at this point. She can use the power. She can use the green power coin, but the green power coin is also not functioning the right way. Like it keeps, you know, it keeps kind of glowing, but not glowing. And it's like, it's having issues. And Zach, Zach has his power going. He's still able to morph and all that stuff, but he kind of doesn't want to because he's trying to figure out, he really wants to get home, obviously. Guess who's over, guess over who, where he's not. He's not near his mother. He doesn't know what happened. He's trying to figure out why he's in this dimension. Meanwhile, on our world, the Rangers, are have 
been split up. Their 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 other ranges have split up. Um, Billy's trying to figure out a way to uh, trying to figure out what happened to Zach, what happens to Tommy, because they don't want to kill Tommy. They 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 realize that Tommy is brainwashed by Rita or Zach. They they you're trying to figure this out. However, and meanwhile, Jason, Kimberly, and Trini are trying their best to fight. Trini's actually helping Billy because she's has she has a crush on Tommy at this point. They've already had this crush. And so they're having this fight. Uh Jason and Kimberly is trying their best to like hold off Zed. Um Zordon's trying to give them help. They're they're all trying to figure out how to stop Zed because Zed fucking shit up is a bad thing. And Rita's up there too. So it's like a big fight between Jason Jason Zed and then Kimberly versus um Rita. Eventually Zach realizes what's going on. Um where they are. They're in uh Zach Zach and Tommy have figured out um what's actually going on with the green power coin. It was never green in the first place. It's trying to get back to its original color. It's trying to get back to its has its original power because the reason why it was green in the first place was because of Lord Zed's influence on Rita. Lord Zed turned Rita into the Green Ranger. That ring, that ranger color should have always been white. I know this is kind of I, I kind of gone over. I have thought about this a while back, and it's I thought I wrote it down somewhere. If I find it, I will bring it up. But in all honesty. This movie should have had three parts to it, okay? It should have had, it should have had, you know, the origin, which we got, 2017 reboot. Second movie should have brought in the whole, should have gave us the whole Greenway's Evil mixed with the whole introduction of Zed. And third movie should have brought us the whole White Ranger uh, introduction and bring in Thunder's Origin. Let's not talk about Ninja's Origin. We're not bringing those up. They've already had their movies. I'm just saying. The first, the the three movies that should have came out, they were gonna make this a six, see, they, they were gonna make this a six part franchise, six movie franchise. First one, how I said, second one, mixed in Green with Evil with introduction of Zed. Third movie, hey, guess what? The original Dinosaurs, they become the Thunderzords. Guess what? The Green Ranger becomes the White Ranger. That's how it should have gone. That's how I feel it should have gone. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, yeah, because a lot of people didn't give it a chance. Either way, I've already thought about this. This has been a thing. I've always thought about how the sequel should be for Pirates 2017. But, again, I'm going to talk about another thing later on. Right now, I'm at 18 minutes, so... I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop the video here, but I'm gonna talk about it another day. And I'm like I said, all of these videos are still me getting used to this whole making videos, talking. I can go on a rant for a good long period of time, but I'm just gonna talk about the sequels. I'm gonna talk about what could have happened in the sequels. But till then, have a good day. I'm gonna post this. <laughs> Uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you for checking out my channel and, you know, viewing my videos and just listening to whatever I have, what I have to say. I mean, come on. I'm thankful for anybody who views these. Have a good day.